Hello and welcome back. This is video number three, and we're going to talk about how you can get access to your Facebook ad pixel and how you can also go about creating new ones. So all you have to do is simply go to business.facebook.com and log into your business manager as we talked briefly about this in the previous video. And up at the top, you want to put your mouse over here and to the right, you're going to see measure and report. And underneath this, you're going to see events manager and pixels. So what you want to do is click on, you can either click on pixels or event manager. In this case, we'll click on pixels. Now bear in mind that the user interface can change, but a lot of times it will be the same in terms of what to access and what you have access to and all that. So really what you're interested in are the pixels. So right now in this account, you can see that I have several pixels and we can get an idea of the traffic that is going to them, the standard events, and we'll talk more about standard events and why they're important in terms of being inside of your funnel, trying to figure out, okay, is this person just a lead? Have they opted in to your landing page? Have they purchased? Have they taken a certain action? So it's wise to create different standard events to get a better idea of who completes certain actions within your funnel. Otherwise you're not going to know, right? So to create a pixel, all you have to do is click on add new data source, click on Facebook pixel, and it'll bring up a menu that looks like this. So all you need to do is simply name the pixel. So depending on what you're trying to promote or put it as your business name, you can put the, this here as long as you know what that is going to be in the future. So if you name it something that you will have no idea what it is in the future, then that's a concern. So make sure that you name it something that you're promoting, something that is related to your business. And then of course, as an option, you can enter your website URL right here. Now, when you're done, you can click create. Now, before we do that, you can see that it says create up to 100 pixels with your business account. Now I will say, that if you're promoting different products, you may want to have a different pixel for different products. And the reason being is because what the Facebook pixel is, is it's basically a piece of tracking code that gathers data about the people that visit a certain site. So let's say for example, that you're promoting scuba diving. So you're not going to want to have ads related to scuba diving and ads related to car repair all on the same pixel. Because what's gonna happen is the people that are interested in car repair, Facebook is gonna get, gather that data and then they're gonna gather the other data of the other niche and then it's going to mesh it all together. So the purpose of the pixel is not just for tracking but to tell Facebook what kind of customer that you are trying to attract. Because later down the road, as you begin to collect the data, you begin to train the pixel as they say, then you will be able to create lookalike audiences where you can tell Facebook and say, hey, go out and find customers similar to the people that are visiting this page where the pixel is located. So you wanna make sure that you have totally different pixels totally different niches. So just keep that in mind when you create your pixels. So go ahead and do that, click create, and you're good to go. Okay, so once you create the pixel and you fill in your name and the website URL, you're gonna see this pop-up. The next thing you need to do is get your pixel code. Now, it gives you three different options and of course, like I said, Facebook can change. They change their user face a lot. But what you're looking for is the manually install pixel code yourself. Now, 
If you wanna email these pixels to your developer, you can do that via the third option, but we're gonna click this. So as you can see here, it says, step number one, locate the header code for your website. So what we wanna do is we wanna find the pixel, which is this item here. So if I click this, it will immediately copy the pixel. So right now I have the code on my clipboard. Now we're going to need to insert that code as Facebook is saying in the head tags. Now, if you do not know HTML and you want to give it to your developer, that's fine. But for the most part, if you're using something like a website builder or a landing page builder, then you want to basically put the tracking code, which is what the pixel is into the header tag. So I'm gonna give you an example by using a program called ClickFunnels, which allows you to create landing pages. And it's, it's very similar concept as other landing page builders, but basically you wanna put this in the head code. So we'll give you an idea of how all that works and how to do all that when we talk about funnels later down the road in the end of the video course. Now, another thing you want to do is on step three, it says automatic advanced matching. We want to turn that on. So we want to click turn on. So we want to turn all these on and then we want to click continue. Now at this point, Facebook is going to talk about standard events. Now we're going to stop here because that's enough information. So what I want you to do is go ahead and create your pixel get the code and put it on your clipboard and save it in a safe location. And don't worry about standard events. We'll talk more about that in the next video.